Test 9. In this section of the test, you will have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section, with special directions for each part. Part 1. Directions. For each question, you will see a picture and you will hear four short statements. The statements will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speaker says. When you hear the four statements, look at the picture and choose the statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Choose the best answer, A, B, C, or D. Now listen to the four statements. You will hear A. He is on the phone. B. She is driving the car. C. She is typing on the computer. D. He is sitting next to her. Statement D. Best describes what you see in the picture. Therefore, you should choose answer D. One. A. They are fixing their car. B. They are having a picnic. C. They are sitting next to each other. D. The table is round. Two. A. There is a traffic jam. B. He has parked his car. C. The car has been in a crash. D. He is leaving the parking lot. Three. A. The people are getting on the ferry boat. B. The sea is calm. C. The ferry boat is sinking. D. There is a storm at sea. Four. A. He can't swim. B. He's sunbathing. C. He has fallen in the water. D. He's in the open air. Five. A. He's reading the contract. B. He's bought a newspaper. C. He's mailing a letter. D. He's written a book. Six. A. They are cycling up the big hill. B. They are on different motorcycles. C. The police officer is stopping them. D. They are wearing helmets. Seven. A. The car is by the sidewalk. B. The car has hit the tree. C. It is a beautiful forest. D. She is getting into the car. Eight. A. They are sitting opposite each other. B. She has lost her glasses. C. They are looking at the same thing. D. He's wearing a suit. Nine. A. He has fallen asleep. B. He is with his friends. C. He is cutting the grass. D. He is relaxing. Ten. A. He is working hard. B. He is selling potatoes. C. There are a lot of people working together. D. His car is stuck. Test 9. Part 2. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear a question or statement spoken in English, followed by three responses, also spoken in English. The question or statement and the responses will be spoken just one time. 
They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully. You are to choose the best response to each question or statement. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear Why are you late? A. I hope I won't be. B. My car broke down. C. He always is. The best response is choice B. My car broke down. Therefore, you should choose B. Eleven. What's the weather meant to be like on Sunday? A. I'm not sure what it means. B. Yes, I'll see you on Sunday. C. It's probably going to be cloudy and wet. Twelve. Why don't we take the earlier plane? A. She's not at all plain. B. Good idea. The earlier, the better. C. We didn't take it anywhere. Thirteen. I hope I don't have to wait too long for a reply to my letter. A. Send it to the managing director. B. You should hear within a week. C. Don't write a very long letter. Fourteen. What kind of movies do you like? A. Thrillers are my favorite. B. Only if you want to. C. Yes, I love watching movies. Fifteen. How long has the phone been out of order? A. I ordered it last week. B. Since this morning. C. I'll phone you as soon as I arrive. Sixteen. For how long has Bob worked here? A. Eight hours a day. B. It's quite hard work. C. For about three years. Seventeen. Shall we go to the beach or to the park? A. It will be very difficult to pike. B. We went to the park. C. I'd prefer a swim in the sea. Eighteen. Have they invited us for dinner? A. Yes, and we mustn't be late. B. No thanks, I've just eaten. C. Indian food. Nineteen. Do you like this hot weather? A. It has certainly cooled down a bit. B. I'll turn the heating down. C. Not really. It's a bit too much. Twenty. How many offices does your company have? A. It's a really huge office. B. Several, all over the country. C. My office is on the fourth floor. Twenty-one. What was that loud noise? A. It certainly was. B. I'll turn the music up. C. I dropped a box of books. Twenty-two. Why is the bus running late? A. Because I want to lose weight. B. There are roadworks. C. I hate running. Twenty-three. Why didn't you tell me you'd passed the exam? A. I didn't want to boast about it. B. I doubt if I will pass it. C. I wish you luck. Twenty-four. How long does the play last? A. 
one of the players is injured. B. It finishes at 10. C. I really don't want to play. Twenty-five. I think we've lost all that data. A. On 25th July. B. I know. It's because of that computer virus. C. You're lucky to have such a nice date. Twenty-six. Isn't it a bit late to start that job? A. I prefer to work in the evening. B. I'm not surprised he's late. C. He wasn't late. 27. You will have to pay a fine on those overdue books. A. Fine, thanks. And you? B. Yes, they were interesting books. C. I know. I have the money here. 28. Whose cup of coffee is this? A. Milk, but no sugar. B. Jim will make you a cup. C. Oh, that's where I left it. 29. Has Ben arrived yet? A. He's already in his office. B. Yes, he left yesterday. C. Yes, in about an hour. 30. Can you claim for expenses? A. As long as I keep the receipts. B. It's not very expensive. C. I never claim to be anything I'm not. 31. Where should I put the files when I've finished with them? A. Take them to Mr. Barking's office. B. As quickly as you can. C. You can get them from reception. 32. Has the shopping been delivered yet? A. Would you like me to buy you something? B. I think that's the van pulling up now. C. Yes, it will be at 6 o'clock. 33. What's the price of that shirt? A. I'm surprised that I won a prize. B. It says it's $20. C. It didn't fit me properly. 34. Don't forget Colin's birthday next week. A. What's his name again? B. Happy birthday. C. Is he having a party? 35. Is this seat free? A. There are only two. B. I didn't see anything. C. Sorry, I'll move my bag. 36. Why do you look so disappointed? A. I didn't get the job. B. I expect I will be. C. Your appointment is in half an hour. 37. Wow, that's a great shot of Anne on her yacht. A. I didn't know she had a gun. B. Why do you say she's short? C. She's very photogenic. 38. Has Brenda really resigned? A. Just sign the letter here. B. She couldn't get on with the boss. C. She resides in a luxury apartment. 39. How will we get to the restaurant tomorrow? A. I'd like Chinese. B. 
Billy will give us a ride. C. By eight o'clock at the latest. Forty. Who's the new man in the finance department? A. He's replaced Thomas. B. He's sure to get the job. C. There's nothing wrong with my finances. Test 9. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response for each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 41 through 43 refer to this conversation. But when I plugged it in, it didn't work, and I did everything that you told me to do when I bought the DVD player this morning. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I can't imagine what the problem can be. Can you bring it back in and someone will have a look at it? It's very difficult because I don't drive, and I'll have to pay for a taxi. If I do bring it in, I'd sooner have a replacement rather than have to wait for someone to repair it. I understand, madam. Bring it back in and I'll make sure that's done for you. 41. Who is the woman talking to? Forty-two. What is the man's attitude? Forty-three. What does the woman want? Questions 44 through 46 refer to this conversation. Although they can still be found in the African jungle and around some coastal areas, they are becoming more and more rare. But here, in captivity, you are trying hard to breed them, aren't you? Yes, and we have had some success as three cubs were born here last month, and they are doing well. They must be a great visitor attraction. They are, but we make sure visitors don't disturb them, and they can only be seen from a distance as they are too young still. We don't want it to be like a circus show. 44. What are you listening to? 45. What is the issue? 46. Where are the speakers? Questions 47 through 49 refer to this conversation. Haven't you made your mind up yet, madam? I've told you everything that we have today, and I do have other customers, you know. I know, but I really fancy some cake or ice cream, but they are both so fattening, and I don't want to encourage my son to have too much sugar. Don't rush me, though. But I don't have all day. Why don't you have the fish and then some fruit? Okay, but not fish. Salad instead, please. 47. What is the waiter's attitude? 48. What is the woman's problem? 49. What will the woman have? Questions 50 through 52 refer to this conversation. The problem is that we have patients here who are getting cold, and when it rains, the water comes through the broken glass and onto the floor. Well, there is no one free at the moment, as everyone is busy until tomorrow. But it can't wait until tomorrow. It's an emergency. Okay. I have to go to the bank now, but I will come and look at it after. I'll be about 20 minutes. Oh, thank you so much. 50. Where is the woman? 51. What is the problem? 52. What will the man do? 
through 55 refer to this conversation. I'm sorry to bother you with my problems, but you are so much more experienced than me. They probably just think they're having fun, but they behave like wild animals sometimes, and I feel like crying with frustration at times. You mustn't take it personally. They are a bad class. Everyone struggles with them. The headmaster is always telling one or other of that class off. I keep them all behind after lessons when they get too wild. That quietens them down for a while. 53. What mood is the woman in? Fifty-four. What is her job? Fifty-five. Who is the man? Questions fifty-six through fifty-eight refer to this conversation. Good morning, madam. I'd like to tell you about a wonderful offer we have today. It's actually a whole series which we teach you how to eat more healthily and is particularly aimed at heart disease prevention, which is something most people need to be aware of as they reach middle age. Well, I'm not really interested in buying anything today, thank you. Oh, I'm not actually selling them today. You can only buy them from our website, and there is a series of six of which the first has just been published. 56. What is being advertised? 57. Who is the product aimed at? 58. How can you buy it? Questions 59 through 61 refer to this conversation. I'm sorry, madam, but this ticket isn't valid. What do you mean? Of course it is. It's gone through the machine twice. See, it has two dates stamped on it. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Sorry, you aren't going to find me, are you? It was a mistake, and this is my stop coming up outside the bank. I should find you, but if you pay for a new ticket, I'll let you off this once. But don't do it again. 59. What are they traveling on? 60. Why isn't the ticket valid? 61. What will happen to the woman? 62 through 64 refer to this conversation. I've been doing this for over 30 years now, and I've certainly traveled around a bit and seen some places. I know this city like the back of my hand. What do you think the most rewarding thing about your job is? Is it the money? You must be joking, and it's certainly not the cafe food I have all the time. Despite the unsociable hours, it's a fun job because I never know who I'm going to pick up and start chatting to. How will you spend your retirement working in the garden like most people seem to? I've been doing a lot of reading about sailing, so I'm going to buy myself a little something to sail around the local coast in. 62. What is the man's job? 63. What does he like about his job? 64. What will he do when he retires? 65 through 67 refer to this conversation. This is the living room. It's nicely decorated and quite big, really. Yes, and it has a nice view over the lovely garden. Now, I'm very happy for you to have friends staying, but the neighbors are quite old, so we ask people not to play music late at night and wild parties aren't allowed. Oh, don't worry. I'm taking my final exams this year, so there won't be many late nights or parties. The rent is reasonable, but I'm a bit worried about the bus service to the university. I haven't seen a bus stop nearby. It's about a 20-minute walk to the bus stop, I'm afraid. Oh, that's a shame. I'm afraid it won't be suitable for me then. 65. What does the woman do? 
66. What is the man worried about? 67. Why doesn't the woman take the flat? 68 through 70 refer to this conversation. Come on, it's your turn to do it, and I've got lots of revision to do. Well, I need to clean my bedroom, and I cooked lunch. Well, it was your turn, and you should have cleaned your room yesterday, like Mum said, instead of playing football all afternoon. Okay, don't get angry. I'll do it in a minute, but I don't think it's fair, as there's so many pots and pans today. 68. What is the relationship between the people? 69. What are they arguing about? 70. What happens in the end? 10. Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following radio program. Early people had no need for engineering works to supply their water. They camped near natural resources and populations were so small that pollution of the water supply did not pose a problem. But as civilized societies developed and settlements grew into big cities, water management became a major concern not only to supply the urban areas, but to irrigate the farms surrounding them. The solution was to find a way to raise water up from the rivers. 71. Why did early people not have a water supply problem? 72. What happened when cities grew? 73. What kind of radio program would this be on? 74 through 76 refer to the following talk. Many people travel from this country in search of the sun. The sun should be enjoyed, but overexposure can cause sunburn, leading to premature skin aging and an increased risk of skin cancer. Take care not to burn. It is particularly important to care for your children, and babies should not be placed in direct sunlight at all. Stay out of the sun for at least two hours around midday. Use what shade there is at other times and cover up with a hat and loose clothing. Protective creams suitable for your skin type can help to protect exposed parts of the body. Wear sunglasses to protect your eyes. 74. Which of the following is not mentioned as a negative result of the sun? 75. What is recommended? 76. What is important about protective creams? 77. Through 79, refer to the following talk. We've been very happy here, but it's just too big for us now that the children have left home. We've decided to move close to the sea so the money from this should buy us a nice cottage. The bedrooms have fitted cupboards and lovely wooden floors. Your fuel bills will be cheap, thanks to the solar panels in the roof. You can see the garden from here. Can you see we had a lovely brick barbecue built near the apple tree? Oh. And of course, it's very convenient for you to get to the airport every day, as the train station is a five-minute walk. 77. What does the speaker want to do? 
78. How is the house environmentally friendly? 79. Who is the speaker showing around the house? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following review. This is a stunning performance from one of our greatest actors who is recovering from some serious health problems. Starting after the news at 7 o'clock this evening, this beautifully written story will have you sitting on the edge of your seat, waiting to see what happens next. It is not really suitable for young children, however, due to some of the very angry scenes shouted out by the main actors in the more dramatic parts of the storyline. 80. What is the review for? Eighty one. What is said about the main actor? Eighty two. What warning is given? Questions eighty three through eighty five refer to the following speech. A very warm welcome to Blackmore University. Congratulations on being accepted into such a fine university. You will find that there are many opportunities to join a number of societies and clubs during your three years here. In order to find out exactly what's on offer, you are invited to go to the gym after lunch to meet the many societies and collect your union cards. This evening, there is a welcoming party for you all, and after you have seen a short film about the university, you will be treated to lunch in the student canteen. 83. What is the point of the speech? 84. Where can students get their student union cards? 85. What will happen next? 86-88 questions 86 through 88 refer to the following advertisement. Are you good with people? Do you enjoy traveling to other countries and organizing things? If yes, then why not join our happy team of holiday representatives? Speaking a foreign language is an advantage, and you must be able to get on with people of all ages. We will provide a company car, but you must be able to drive. If you think you would enjoy helping people, have a good time, and are confident that you can cope with the stress of working in a foreign country, then give us a call now and arrange an interview. 86. What is the advertisement for? 87. What must you have? 88. What will be the biggest challenge? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. We all know we should be doing more exercise, and most of us want to, but somehow life has a habit of spoiling our good intentions. Let's face it, there's always a reason not to start. Too tired, too busy, too much work. But in our campaign, we have found 10 volunteers who have embarked on a walking program in a bid to improve their health and lose some weight. An expert has designed a walking plan to get everyone moving, and we are inviting all of you and your partners, friends, and children to join us. As an added incentive, each of our walkers is raising money for their favorite charity, which you can do too. 89. What does the speaker say about getting fit? 90. What is the aim of this campaign? 91. What might encourage more people to join this campaign? 92-94 questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. Part of the excitement and fear of any holiday is the moment when you discover how much the reality matches the dream. Our hopes were high as we carefully drove along the narrow lanes to our villa. 
We were all relieved to see that our villa was big and beautiful and very stylish. It had been years since we'd last been to Majorca, and we were worried that it would be full of thousands of drunk tourists. The opposite was true, though, as it has developed as a resort but now offers music and art festivals and attracts people who want to have a lovely time mixing with the locals in peaceful surroundings. 92. Where might this talk be from? Ninety-three. What was the speaker's worry? Ninety-four. How has Majorca changed? Questions ninety-five through ninety-seven refer to the following announcement. This is an important announcement for all personnel. At approximately 3.30 this afternoon, there will be a fire drill to check that all alarm systems are working properly and that all employees know exactly what to do in case of fire or a bomb scare. On hearing the alarm, you should immediately leave the warehouse and go to the far end of the car park. Do not stop to collect your personal belongings. The exercise should take about 10 minutes, after which you will be told when you can return to your machines. 95. Where is this announcement taking place? 96. What is happening? 97. What must all employees do? 98 through 100 refer to the following news report. Many people were lucky to escape with their lives today when a leaking gas pipe exploded in a major art gallery. The fire that followed destroyed the gallery and many cars parked outside it. Hundreds of irreplaceable works of art were destroyed. A spokesman from the fire brigade said that the building is unsafe and will have to be demolished but it was a miracle that no one died in the incident. He said it looked like the scene of a bomb attack. Sadly, the building had recently been restored, and there are no funds left to rebuild the gallery. 98. What was the cause of the tragedy? 99. What will happen to the building? 100. What was a good thing about the tragedy? 100. That is the end of the test.